Hi, this is Boo for Sparky Channel, and today I'm going to discuss the new 2020 NEC code, article number 110.14D, and it is terminal connection torque. Yeah, we're going to talk about torquing down those lugs and torquing down your breakers and so forth because it's code now. So, uh, tightening torque values for terminal connections shall be as indicated on equipment or in installation instructions provided by the manufacturer. An approved means shall be used to achieve the indicated torque value. Informational note number one. Examples of approved means of achieving the indicated torque values include torque tools or devices such as shear bolts or breakaway style devices with visual indicators that demonstrate that the proper torque has been applied. And informational note number two uh, gives you the name of a publication which provides torque values in the absence of manufacturer's recommendations. And then informational note number three gives you another publication uh, for getting torque values. Now let's go to an example. This is a Murray load center. And you see there are various terminals that have lugs that tighten down various cables. On the inside of the load center, you'll see this sticker. And on this sticker, you will see this table. I've inserted a photograph next to the table. And you see the two blue arrows are pointing to terminals A and B. And then if you go over to the table, you see it says terminals A and B and torque rating is 275 pound inches. Now pound inches are the same thing as inch pounds. So 275 inch pounds. Now the blue arrow is pointing to the neutral lug and the red arrow is pointing to the amount of torque that is specified in the table, which is 250 inch pounds. The grounding lug is specified to be torqued at 90 inch pounds. The neutral and equipment ground bars are here. They have both small terminals and large terminals. The small terminals are to be torqued at 20 inch pounds for wires between 10 and 14 AWG, 25 pounds for 8WG wire, and 35 pounds for 6 AWG wire. The large terminals have a different torquing specification. 10 to 14 AWG is 35 pounds inches, 8 AWG is 40 pounds, and 1 aught to 6 AWG is 45. The neutral lug kit seen on the right would be torqued at 50 pounds inches. The quarter inch nuts that the blue arrows are pointing to are to be torqued down at 45 pounds inches. The torque rating for breakers will be found right on the breaker. This one is 25 pound inches. Now let's discuss torque wrenches and torque screwdrivers and which ones might be best for you when working on an electrical panel. At the top of this picture is the brand new Milwaukee motorized 3 8 inch torque wrench and then right below that we have a more conventional ac delco 3 8 inch torque wrench that also has a digital display the milwaukee has a very nice digital display and the ac delco has a smaller digital display but they're both uh, digital and then to the right of the ac delco is a wera torque screwdriver that's non-insulated and then uh, below that we have the weha torque screwdriver that is 1000 volt insulated. Here we have the two torque wrenches. On the top is the Milwaukee and the torque rating is 10 foot pounds to 100 foot pounds. And then if you want to convert that to pounds inch, you just multiply by 12. So the 10 foot pounds is going to be 120 pounds inch. So it's 120 pounds inch to 1200 pounds inch. And then the AC Delco below it is 3.7 foot pounds to 37 foot pounds and the equivalent there is 44 pounds inch to 443 pounds inch and now for the torque screwdrivers the wera is 25 inch pounds to 55 inch pounds and they do write on their tool 
inch pounds. Uh, sometimes you'll see pounds inch and sometimes you'll see inch pounds. It's the same thing. The Weehaw tool is 20 to 70 inch pounds. Here's a chart that I've made up. On the left hand side, you see all the torque specifications found in the load center that I showed you. And then I have the uh, AC Delco, would be the first one on your left there. And it will torque the 275, the 250, the 90, the 50, and the 45. So it's a pretty valuable torque wrench for uh, the torque specifications in this panel. The next one is the Weha 28792. And it'll torque down the 20 inch pound, the 25, the 45, and the 50. You see there's a little overlap between the AC Delco and the Weha. Now the Weha is a thousand volt insulated tool, so you would definitely want to use that anytime you have a live panel. You really need the insulated tool. So uh, with the AC Delco and the Weha, you can cover everything in this load center. And then uh, the next one over is the Milwaukee. It can torque the 275 and the 250 pound inch. And then the Wera 7447. It can't do the 20 pound inch torquing, but it can do the 25, the 45, and the 50. So if you had the Milwaukee and the Wera, you would have some holes. You wouldn't be able to do the 90 pound inch or the 20 pound inch. And if you had the Milwaukee and the Weha, you couldn't do the 90 pound inch. So the best combination for torquing in this panel is the AC Delco and the Weha. And the Weha is definitely the best uh, for changing out breakers in a live panel because it's thousand volt insulated. So my picks for best torque devices for electricians would be the AC Delco 3 8 inch torque wrench and the Weha 1000 volt insulated torque screwdriver. It has 13 fully insulated bits and it has a fully insulated torque holder and it has a tool with which you change the torque setting. It also has a nice click when you reach the torque setting. The best bit to use for the panel lugs would be a 5 16 inch extra long hex bit. You can also just use a regular hex head bit on the end of a 3 8 inch extension. The A and B lugs are 5 16 of an inch and the ground lug is 3 16 of an inch. I'll put links in my video description for the Weha insulated torque vario screwdriver set which comes in inch pound ratings. Also, I'll put a link for the AC Delco 3 8 inch digital torque wrench, the Milwaukee M12 digital torque wrench, the Wera torque screwdriver. I'll put a link for a 5 16 extra long hex bit with 3 8 inch drive. And I'll put a link for a set, a 7 piece set of extra long hex bit with 3 8 inch drive. Also, I'll put a link for a Craftsman 7-piece hex bit socket set. Thanks. I hope this video was helpful.